Hello Virgo, welcome to your April reading, you guys. So good to see you. This is my channel, Triple Moon Oracle. Love you guys. Thank you for landing on my videos. Um, I just encourage you to stick around, see if you like my energy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video, helps me out a lot. Um, even if you're not new to the channel and you've been watching me and you haven't subscribed yet, I would um, love for you to be a subscriber, put your energy into this channel. Give me that thumbs up, comment on the video if it resonates for you, all of that helps me out a lot. Um, and I do love hearing from you and I try to reply to everybody. So anyways, this is going to be a reading about who's coming towards you, somebody special coming into your life. Um, and we're going to be looking at who that is, okay? And we'll check out some timing stuff too. But um, if this reading doesn't resonate for you for some reason, feel free to check your other placements. Like watch the watch my readings for your Venus, your rising, your moon sign. If you don't know that, go on Google, type in natal chart. And then like my favorite one is Cafe Astrology. Some people don't like that, but you can go to Cafe Astrology and um, look at your natal chart and type in your information and then look up your whole chart and see what those signs are if you don't know them. Um, and if it doesn't resonate for you, you guys can also book a personal reading with me. My Etsy link is below. If it does resonate for you guys, there's going to be an extended to this. The links for that are below as well. Okay. Um, so let's get started. We're going to actually, so first of all, we're going to look at the signs. Okay. Um, the, I did not want to shuffle that deck first. We're going to look at the zodiac signs that we may be working with. If you don't see your zodiac sign here for the your person, um, so if you've met somebody already and you're like, ooh, is this my person? If you don't see their sign come out, don't be discouraged. This could be uh, a significant sign in their chart and you may just not know that. Um, or this could just be their kind of energy, you know, the, the sign or the energy of, their, of, of them. So um, you never know, okay? And their sign could come out later in the reading as well, but we're just gonna start off with this. So we have Aries. So some of you could be connecting to an Aries. If you are not connected with somebody yet, then these could be the signs that you will meet um, in the next month and a half or so. Okay, we have Aries, we have Leo, and we have Gemini. All right, so some of you could be connecting with a Gemini, some of you could be connecting with a Leo, and some of you could be connecting with an Aries. Um, they could also have this energy, they could also be very fiery, very passionate um love to travel love to communicate love to you know very self-starting and very daring and you know playful and loving with the leo energy so that could just be their energy all right if those signs don't resonate with you so let's take a look at their the energy their energy um okay we have the third house of perception so they could have met you on social media or you could have met them on social media or a dating site okay i am seeing somebody who's very into traveling they love traveling because we got the ninth house is seeking we got jupiter energy this person could be very social um very you know like maybe they have a lot of friends and they go out a lot and they go to concerts a lot or they you know they're just i i'm getting a extroverted energy from this person they like to travel all right they like to go see things they like to go do things um and i feel like they're definitely on you know a journey a self-exploration journey um sorry i lost track of what i was saying but i i do feel like they're on some kind of spiritual journey as well but but i'm seeing a lot of you know energy of loving to travel okay um they could also be a very lucky type of person too where they just things just happen for them or things just happen to them um very optimistic too the fifth house of passion is here very passionate playful energy and that's also what i'm seeing with the leo energy so and that fifth house of passion very creative love parties they love pleasure um very humorous okay they're very romantic um 
they could possibly have children as well is kind of what I'm picking up. But yeah, that is definitely some of the energy that they got going on. Okay. So let's take a look at the energy of the connection. Energy of the connection. In the extended reading, we're going to look at your energy with this person, seeing how you're feeling about this person. I know that you're like, I already know how I feel. Sometimes we don't. And I'm finding like surprising things coming out. Um, so we're going to explore that. We're also going to explore, you know, the most likely outcome for your connection. And we're going to also look at timing um, for this connection. Okay. So we've got co-create. I think that you guys are able to like, if you haven't met this person, just think of this in future tense. Okay. So either you are, or you're going to be this way with this person, but like you guys are able to easily manifest things together. There are things that you both want to do with your life that you guys, it like lines up with you guys and you guys don't have differing um, goals in life. You guys both have the same kind of goals. You both, both have the same kind of hearts. And so you guys want to do the same things. And so it's easy for you guys to manifest and do the things that you're wanting to do in your life because it matches up, okay? All right, what else? Tell me about the energy of this connection. We have message in a bottle. Um, okay, give me one more, two more. I think that you're going to get signs and symbols when this person is going to come into your life, okay? Um, this could be a divine, divine feminine energy as well. Or this person could have uh, be in touch with their divine feminine energy because we all have divine feminine and masculine energies within us. But I'm seeing this go the distance card as well. I feel like this relationship could actually absolutely go the distance. It could absolutely uh, last for a lifetime, okay? Um, marriage or just commitment between you guys forever is what I'm seeing. And this Imagine card... Like, I feel like back, back again to that whole, you guys are going to create the life that you want and that you're visualizing for yourselves. There's something about when you guys get together that you guys are able to imagine the life that you want and easily create it. And I feel like you guys are going to really take off. Both of you could end up traveling together. You could end up, you know... Um, I'm seeing this camel with that passport, okay? Also, you guys could bring in a lot of abundance and be very lucky together. Also, be very, you know, go out and do fun things and and um, even go to carnivals or plays or parties or, you know, music shows, festivals, like all that kind of stuff. Um, you guys are going to have a lot of fun together, okay? But what I'm seeing with this message in a bottle is that you are going to get signs and symbols that you are supposed to be with this person. So possibly even before you meet this person or while you're with this person, you're going to see maybe a lot of repeating numbers. You're going to see their name in places. You're going to see, um, you know, a reading like this. And all of a sudden, like, boom, the next week you meet them or you've already met them and now you're watching this reading and this is just confirmation. So Spirit's going to be sending you, you know, confirmation and signs and symbols that this is your person, okay? All right, tell me a little bit more about this connection to the Spirit. Okay, I just, I am seeing like, you could, um, you guys could both be coming out of a time in your life where Maybe you've had a lot of regrets, you know, from the past. Maybe there's been situations or relationships or things that fell apart that you guys couldn't control. And maybe you guys are both kind of coming out of that energy with this Five of Cups, you know, still, still kind of healing from things from the past that you've both gone through. But I'm seeing a, like you know, divine timing is at play with this connection. You guys have hoped and wished for this connection and now it's here. All right. 
I see a very uh, like fun and playful and passionate energy between you two and the ability to accomplish anything and be very successful together um, with one another, okay? I think that the time of, if you guys have been in a time where you haven't been dating anyone, you've been single maybe, or you've just been at a time where you've been focused on yourself and resting and not really looking for anybody, I'm feeling like that time is about over. It's time for action. It's time for things to happen. And I'm feeling like this is coming in soon, okay? So we're going to move into the extended reading and we're going to look into your energy about this connection. Um, work through any issues that may come up within you while you're dealing with this connection. We're also going to look at timing, okay, with this connection we're all, or this, car, this deck. And then we're also going to do some love oracle cards with some more tarot. And just look into the um, outcome of this connection and see where it's going to take you guys and what's going to happen. Um, and we're just going to dive deeper into it. Okay. So if you want to follow me into the extended reading, please do. The information for that is below. There's Patreon. There's the one-time purchase. Both links are below. I have everything written out for you as far as my Patreon goes, like all of the different levels that you can sign up starting at $1.11. Okay. Just to the basic one, just to get access to all the extendeds every month. And then the highest one is $25 a month where you get a, a 30 minute reading every single month. You get discounts on personal readings and my jewelry because I make crystal jewelry. You can find all my Etsy. You get a organic tote bag with my logo on it. Um, you get access to all extended readings, dis, uh, bonus readings and everything. And my, um, my 20, or sorry, my 30 minute readings are usually 50 bucks. And so you get it for $25 every month on top of everything else. Okay. So check that out. Links for that are below. Um, like I said, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if this resonated. I'd love to hear from you guys. Oh, and when you guys do sign up on Patreon, you're going to get put into a drawing for a free 30 minute reading. So just um, remember that. Okay. So anyways, love y'all. Hope to see you in the extended um, or I'll talk to you next month. Bye. Yeah, so this could be a rekindled connection. It could. For some of you, it could. It could be a rekindled connection. You guys are soulmates for sure. This is a soulmate connection. and But I think overall what I'm feeling is that there has been something from the past that really hurt you, that really made you sad, okay? You could have been in separation from this person. Like I said, this could be a rekindled connection. If it's not a rekindled connection, then you went through something in the past that now you're having to get over or having to go through. But I think you've had a lot of clarity about this connection and about a past connection. Um, if this is the connection that you went were separated from, like and you guys are coming back together, I think you found a lot of clarity about you and this person. And